So let's talk the Marvel Cinematic Universe. No, not Endgame, though I have now seen it and so I'm safe to go back on the internet. Thor The Dark World. Yeah, we're back there, I know. There's this scene in The Dark World where Jane Foster meets Loki and smacks him in the face and says, that's for New York. As it turns out, Natalie Portman was told just to actually hit Tom Hiddleston in the face. It was actually a punch. We did a few that were fake, but they could tell because I am just bad at that. So there were a few real ones because they were like, you were just a little girl, you really can't hurt him. So I don't know, he acted like he could handle it, but I think I actually hurt him. And Tom Hiddleston said, <laughs> It made me feel good. It made me feel like it's good, you know, I'm pleased to have given pleasure in some regard, even if it is just to provide a target for, um, for Natalie's unprocessed rage. It's pretty good. She's an athlete. Right. Okay then. This is a video about why you shouldn't punch Tom Hiddleston in the face, even if Tom Hiddleston says it's okay. And most especially, this is a video about how you shouldn't tell actors to punch each other in the face. Just at all, really. In my last video, I talked about getting older and learning new things and how that means that sometimes you see things in a new way and then you can't unsee them. This is one of those things. Theatrical combat rules, as I was taught them, they're not very hard, it wasn't very long ago, there are only two. Be safe, be convincing. And letting someone smack someone else in the face full force is not not safe. I mean, it may be convincing, but not safe. I know it sounds obvious, but you could seriously hurt someone doing that. Now, there is such a thing as a contact punch to the face, but it is somewhat, somewhat beyond my level, shall we say. There is a way to punch someone in the face, make contact with their face, and not hurt them. This was not that. And see, now some of you are thinking, well, if Tom Hiddleston is happy for Natalie Portman to smack him in the face, then surely that should be good enough for everyone. Well, no. No, actually, I, I don't think that's right. And I think it's trying to take too individualistic a look at something which isn't actually just about the individual. The state of Tom Hiddleston's jaw or cheek or nose or vision or hearing, all of which could have been affected if a punch had landed wrong, is not just Tom Hiddleston's business. I mean, mostly it would be Tom Hiddleston's business, but you're on a set with hundreds of people, minimum, who are spending millions of dollars making this movie. Like, it's not all about you. And so, I don't think that argument really holds water. Even if you set aside the need for safety for the individual, which I don't think you should, but even if you did, the safety is for the sake of the production as a whole as well. People have died on movie sets. Major movie sets. Relatively recently. Safety first. For everyone's sake. And given that it's a movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think it's also kind of a dodgy precedent to set, because that's gonna trickle down to movies with less stratospheric budgets. Come on, Tom Hiddleston let a woman punch him in the face for Thor The Dark World. Why won't you just fill in the blank here? Side note, this is also why intimacy coordinators, something I recently learned about, which is basically like a fight director but for intimate scenes, seem like such a good common sense idea to me. Seriously though, who wants to wing it under those circumstances? You choreograph your violence. Why would you also not choreograph your intimacy? So everybody's okay with everything. Stage combat has provided me with many joys. The joy of pretending to punch someone in the face. The joy of pretending to wrestle people to the ground. Or hit them with a staff. Or stab them with a sword. But the key word here is pretending. Nobody's actually getting hurt. And if someone is getting hurt, you're doing it wrong. And you should stop. I think the first time I heard this story, I might have found it quite funny. Like, seriously, dude, who let someone punch them in the face for veracity's sake? Seriously? Nowadays I'm just getting all finger-wagging librarian on how bad a precedent it is to set. Thanks, stage combat. But I did three basic exams in the summer, and since December I have taken Joe Staff, 18th century small sword, and unarmed at intermediate level. In the summer I'm doing an advanced course, and even with all of that, I still don't think I would be qualified or well-trained enough to punch someone in the face safely. I'm just saying. 